Hey guys, so I want to jump into this interview that Portia Williams did where she talked about her marriage to her estranged husband, which is Simon Gubadia. We all know Simon. And she also talked about dating, her dating life. Yes. So let's jump right into this video. But before we do, guys, let's let our intro play and then we'll come back and talk about it. But before we jump into this video, please make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And also make sure you enable your bell notification so you do not miss out on a video or when I go live. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. So we know Portia is no stranger to divorce. In fact, she is zero to two when it comes to marriages. And this does not even include her baby daddy. Y'all know the hot dog king. Well, Portia's latest divorce has been particularly brutal with non-stop court filings, threats, and we're not even talking about the prenups. Now, Portia had the opportunity to visit with Andy Cohen. Now, this was at the Watch What Happens Live Clubhouse for their 15th anniversary special. If you guys are familiar with that, um, it's like a little show that Andy would do after the Housewives. Now, Portia was asked some grueling questions with regards to her dating life and just pretty much with regards to, you know, the things that were seen in the media with regards to her marriage. Now, if you guys recall, if not, let's just walk back down memory lane. When Portia agreed to join back on to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, nobody even knew that she was going to just jump up and file for divorce. But when she did, she took us all by surprise because everybody was trying to figure out what in the heck is really going on, right? Because we were expecting to be able to see her life, her marriage, um, you know, the his children, her one daughter, and then it just all went to SHI. Not to mention that Portia has signed on back with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And the issue that she's having is that she can't even film. Well, she can film, but we want to see her life. But she's not even able to film in the house that she actually lives in. So everybody is like, well, girl, just go rent another house. But that's a whole nother story. Now, with regards to the interview that Portia gave, now, keep in mind that Portia Williams was amongst the first guests to actually grace the clubhouse during this anniversary episode. Now, the headlines were surrounding, obviously, the Gabodia, Gabodia, Gabadia and Williams battle. And of course, y'all know it didn't take long before Andy asked, about the elephant that was in the room, right? He wanted to know what was life like after Simon, right? Because, I mean, they are going through a divorce. But interestingly, though, very, very interestingly, because they're still married, Portia told Andy that she's not dating. Now, I need to repeat myself. She said she's not dating and she's still very much married, but estranged. Well, listen, y'all, the streets have been talking. Now, maybe she don't call it dating. Maybe, you know, she call it hooking up because allegedly she's been hooking up with some people here. So she is, you know, she says that she hasn't been dating. So I'm just reading what she said, but the rumors are saying that she's been definitely hooking up with some people. So one of the other things that Portia stated, 
she used the word estranged. So she put a huge emphasis on the word estranged. So she used the, you know, I'm still very much married, but estranged. And if you guys have saw either one of their Instagrams or social media, you know that they have been dragging each other, you know, so, and most recently, Portia has jumped right in with Simon and she is slinging insults just as he is slinging insults. So it's kind of becoming like a um, social media battle between the two. But Portia actually didn't have anything negative to say about Simon and she referred to him as her estranged husband. Um, again, she says she's not dating at all. She wants to um, kind of consider herself still very much married, which I don't understand why she say I'm still very much married. It just seems like, um, I don't know, do you guys think maybe she wants to reconcile? Um, but she did not say anything bad toward him, but she did say that she wished him well. So she did say that she wished him well and that um, and that was pretty much it with regards to, um, you know, her dating and her marriage with her estranged husband, as she called him. Now, Portia wraps up the interview and before wrapping up, she does say that reconciliation is not on the table, which I mean, watching from the sidelines, I could have answered that question. But um, I wonder what is next for Portia. I would imagine that Real Housewives of Atlanta is at some point going to have to wrap filming, which means she has not been able to film in the home that she once shared with Simon. If there were, obviously, you know, they would have filmed her prior to the court order, they wouldn't have been able to use it. So I'm not sure um, what we're going to get in terms of being able to see Portia actually in her element as a mom. I don't know if maybe she'll shoot over at, you know, the house that she gave to her mother as she say but it seems like it's the house that she maybe let her mother rent out i don't know we'll just have to see but portia says that she's not dating well i don't think she would admit that she <laughs> that she would be dating or that she has dated because Again, these streets are brutal and the streets is talking, honey. So y'all got to let me know what y'all think, you know, with regards to this. And I don't know, maybe you saw it on television. Um, I'm actually just reading articles. I actually didn't get a, get the opportunity to watch it. Um, but I want to know what you guys think in the comments. So please let me know what you guys think. And guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, let me know what you guys think down below.